pills. I remain your teacher. And for Lauren. You're welcome to primary five primary science classes. Our online learning. I hope you're trying your best to keep up with the safety rules. Don't forget, it's very important. In our last class on primary science, we looked at waste and waste disposal. We established that waste is a product of human activities that does not have immediate usefulness. Did you get that? We said waste is a product of human activities that does not have immediate usefulness. And where are these wastes produced from? It is produced from the homes, schools, offices, industries, and everywhere human beings are found. Some materials that constitute waste are pieces of papers, broken bottles, pure water nylons, empty cartons, garbage, sawdust, empty can, and many others. We also learned types of waste. We said waste are grouped into two. We have the solid waste. Those are the solid materials that are produced from human activities. And under this solid waste, we have the combustible waste. When we say something supports combustion, it means it can burn easily in fire. So under solid waste, we have combustible waste, such as cartons, your Indonesian carton, for example, waste papers, plastic, etc. We also learned about non-combustible waste. They are materials that cannot be destroyed easily by fire. Things like metal, iron, glass, needle, iron bucket, etc. I want you to think of other examples. Then liquid waste. We say these are water that contain waste from household and factories. And another name for liquid waste is sewage. Sewage. Sewage can be grouped based on their source. We establish that we have human waste, like urine and feces, household waste, like water from the washing dishes, or bathing. Even leftover food are household waste. We have industrial waste, like chemical waste. We also have runoff water, water that run on the surface when rain falls. We were reminded again about waste disposal. We have things like waste pits. We have things like open door. We have things like pulverization. And we establish that when waste is disposed using the pulverization method, it means it is the grinding of that waste into powder. And this method is used to transform this waste to fertilizer. To some extent, I believe we've refreshed our memory from our last class. Today, we'll be looking at pollution. Can I hear you say pollution? 
pollution. What does pollution mean? Pollution is the release of poisonous substances into the environment. And these poisonous substances causes harm to living things, both plants and animals. There are four types of pollution, which are water pollution, air pollution, land pollution, and noise pollution. Water pollution, air pollution, land pollution, and noise pollution. Now, there is a substance that causes pollution, and we call these substances pollutants. Yes. Substances that cause pollution are called pollutants. And we will look at these pollutants as we look at the types of pollution and the causes. Like water pollution, it occurs when you allow harmful substances into the sources of water, like stream, rivers, lake, etc. It will make the water bad. And such water is not good, any useful, because it will have taste, it will have color, and odor. It is also impure. Now, what are the sources of this pollution in water? It can come from sewage. That's human feces, detergents, soaps, domestic waste, industrial waste, agricultural waste such as chemicals. Now, like this chemical used in the farm, when rain falls, it carries them to stream and rivers thereby causing pollution. Let's look at air pollution. Air is the passing out of smoke and other poisonous gases into the atmosphere. These gases contain carbon-2 oxide, that CO2, carbon-4 oxide, and it also contains hydrogen sulfide, H2S. They are called greenhouse gases, and they cause depletion of ozone layer in the atmosphere, and it causes harm to living things. Common causes of air pollution could be smoke from vehicles, mosquito coil, which we use at home to kill insects or mosquito, insecticides like the shelters, welding frame, frying with palm oil, industrial fumes. And this as well has effects. It can bring suffocation, bad odor and discomfort, and even poison in carbon-2 oxide can lead to death. And there is what we call acid rain. Because of the release of sulfur-4 oxide, it is harmful to both animals and plants. The next type of pollution is land pollution. Land pollution. It is the presence of refuse and toxic materials on the soil. Sources of land pollution are waste from home, 
Think about those waste. I hope you do dispose well. Like nylon, leftover food, polythene. We have even dumping of toxic refuse from industries. When factories finish using toxic waste, they pour it anyhow. We also have sewage from toilet and soak away. Also, excessive use of fertilizer and chemicals on the farm can cause land pollution. And thereby, it even makes poor growth and death of plants. It leads to diseases in man and animal. The next type of pollution is the noise pollution. This is a very loud or continuous loud noise which causes discomfort or irritation to people. Such noise can be caused by gathering of a crowd, generator noise, aircraft takeoff, take off, sound from loudspeaker, ETC. There are many other examples you can think about. And when this noise is irritating, it prevents easy communication. It can even cause damage to the eardrum. And it is, does not even allow people to have good sleep. But we can try to prevent it. You should not shout or make a noise in the classroom or outside. When you are listening to music or watching television, the volume of your radio or television set should be lower. And when you are in large gathering, you should move away from large loudspeaker and public address system. You can feel free to drop your questions which we will discuss and for your activity you will find the question on the platform. Thank you. See you in our next online classes.